Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on his way to Saudi Arabia this morning to meet with the Crown Prince as tensions rise with Iran in the wake of that attack on key Saudi oil facilities. Iran's leaders warning against any retaliation as chances of a meeting with President Trump are dwindling. Our chief global affairs anchor Martha Rat is tracking all the latest from Washington. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. The State Department this morning is urging U.S. citizens traveling in Saudi to be more vigilant. This, as Iran's president, is calling the attack on the oil facilities a warning to the Saudis from Yemen to end the war there or face a wider conflict. And a U.S. forensic team in Saudi is examining a nearly intact cruise missile that missed its target and combing through debris at the oil facilities. This image from Saudi social media appears to be missile wreckage, an image that analysts are examining from one of nearly a dozen cruise missiles that targeted Saudi oil facilities. A U.S. official says the investigators have found compelling forensic evidence from those missiles and the some 20 drones that hit the facilities. Once they get the debris of these drones that crashed in the desert, they'll be able to very precisely match things like the wings and the tail to pictures that the Iranians themselves have published of their drones. U.S. officials believe the missiles and explosive-laden drones were launched from southwestern Iran in a complex and precise attack which struck at least 17 targets. Since President Trump pulled out of the nuclear deal last year, there have been more attacks than ever blamed on Iran, major attacks on oil tankers in the Gulf and that highly sophisticated U.S. drone that was shot down. Trump was considering military action in retaliation last summer, but backed off. But this attack is by far the most brazen and seemingly calculated. So why would Iran risk it? The Iranians have gotten progressively more aggressive. They've seized ships, they've shot down a U.S. drone, and now this Saudi attack. They think they can get away with it. The U.S. is more bark than bite. But they want to pressure the U.S. to come back to the negotiating table and give them relief from sanctions. Facing pressure from even some of his political allies, President Trump insisting that his restraint in dealing with past Iranian aggression is a sign of strength that some people just don't understand. This morning, President Trump tweeting that he has instructed the Secretary of the Treasury to substantially increase sanctions on the country of Iran using one of the many options available to him. What is clear is that if Iran is proven to be behind the attack, the pressure on President Trump to do something will only increase.